Okay, so I'm going to quickly go over this video to do with the color of the S1 and V-Log because it's slightly different than, I guess, natural colors to my eye. So the example that I do for pretty much every single camera that I test, I kind of test it against the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro because to me, that camera produces such organic, natural looking colors to, to your eye. So whether you're looking at fruit, uh, walls, skin color, bad colors, um, it's, it's pretty much neutral and it pretty much looks exactly the same to my eye that what it does in the camera. So the LUTs in the pack that are in there, there's a bonus pack. So all the other LUTs are just kind of like stylized LUTs and the bonus pack is the more kind of neutral looking LUTs if you need them. So. For example, on the left here, I shot this on the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro. I know amazing imagery, I can't believe it. Um, basically, I'm just trying to show you like colors of, of natural looking things and, and how it looks in that camera. So, so just to show you what I'm doing, it's shot raw, 5200, no tint or anything like that. And the curve, you know, pretty just standard curve just to get it to, you know, a good place to where that camera looks good. It is the same sort of scene here and that's, you know, S1 V-Log straight out of the camera. And, you know, to just do a curve on it, that's what it looks like. So don't pay attention to the left right now. That's what it looks like. So if you shot in the camera and you're like, that's flat. Okay, I'm gonna drag a Rec 709 look on it. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. But if you compare it to what I said with the Ursa Mini Pro, it looks completely different. Like these reds are weird. There's some weird luminance thing going on here, you know, with the color, the butter is weird. And I don't know, it just looks not very organic and natural to what the colors actually look like. I also have the same problem with, you know, um, Sony's S-Log. It kind of does this as well. It's re really, really strange. Now, if you shoot like natural out of the camera and uh, the S1, it will kind of give you that profile and Cine D gives you a natural looking kind of color. But the dynamic range kind of sucks balls compared to, you know, the V-Log. So we want V-Log range but we want colors to look, you know, pretty natural. So once again, Ursa Mini Pro here, this is S-Log. Um, you know, try this without my LUTs and, and try just, you know, natural Rec 709 grade with V-Log and it will just look good, but just slightly weird. So here we go. So S1 V-Log flat graded there. And what I'll do now is I'll put my Ursa Mini Pro LUT on it to, you know, kind of match that. So there we go, as you can see, it looks fairly similar, not 100% the same, because you know it's gonna be hard to match cameras because the sensors are completely different. You can get close, but every scene will vary differently. So that's why I had to create a few of them because each one doesn't kind of work with every single look. So as you can see, the reds are kind of like deeper and they match a bit more. There's no weird luminance going on. And we'll scroll forward a bit to the color of this butter pack here, these butters. Um, okay, so there we go. So the colors of these are fairly, fairly close to each other, you know, with the spinach and everything like that. So once again, that's the Rec 709 color that you will get from, you know, V-Log, whether you use my LUT or you do it yourself. And this is my LUT to kind of match what the colors look like from the Ursa Mini Pro. So both of these LUTs are in the pack, Rec 709 U2, and this one is the Ursa Mini Pro color. Okay, so this show another example. Same scene, uh, just to show you again, shot raw, 5200, zero tint, minor curve. Okay, so that's what it looks like out of the Ursa Mini Pro. This is, you know, S1 V-Log, quick Rec 709, you know, look. So once again, if you don't look at this side and you just look at what I'm doing, you know, it does look nice, it looks pretty cool. But color-wise, it's not accurate to me. So here we go. So now we'll throw on my Ursa Mini color. And as you can see, it's much closer, um, more pleasing to my eye. So, you know, here we go, Rec 709, and then my Ursa LUT. This one's slightly different, so this is Ursa Mini Pro Color 2. Like I said, each scene varies because that sensor reacts differently than this sensor does. So even if you throw the same LUT on it, it will never look the same. Obviously, if you color grade every single footage by eye, you'll get better results, but these are LUTs to kind of get you closer, quicker, um, and it's good to shoot them in camera as well. And once again, you know, just a standard kind of grade. And what we got here, S1 V-Log and flat. And there is the look out of the, you know, Rec 709. It's nice and clean, it is very clean. It's clean colors, you know, clean image. It just looks slightly different to that. And because I see my living room day by day, you know, in and out, um, 
I know that that is the color of that wall. That is the color of that banister. It just, that's how it looks like. There's, the Ursa Mini Pro captures that, you know, pretty correctly. So once again, this one is the Ursa Mini Pro. This one is Ursa Mini Color 3. And as you can see, it matches, you know, closer, much closer. Like I said, it's not 100%. They're different sensors, different cameras, but I'm getting them pretty close if you like that kind of look. So once again, Rec 709 and the Ursa Mini Pro Color. The S1 does have pretty damn good dynamic range, like I really do like it. So you'll never get that out of the in-color camera profile. So we want to, you know, use and abuse that V-Log because it does look good. So for these especially, I would try to expose them at two stops over because it looks really nice. The shadow control is really good. There's no grain and it controls the highlights really well. Um, if you do have to go to like a stop over, um, you know, because your highlights are clipping faster, then that's fine. But anything under that, then you will start to create some noise um, in the camera, especially when you, you pull down the blacks. You want to pull down the blacks and have them super smooth. So, um, okay, so let's quickly go over that. So once again, over here on the left, Ursa Mini Pro. And here, yeah, here's the S1 V-Log. And Rex 709, like I said, once again, does look nice. Colors are clean. Everything looks good. Colors are popping. But compared to that, it just looks slightly different. So here is my Ursa Mini Pro here. So not 100% the same, but once again, very, very close. And this one is Ursa Mini Pro Color Mild because we want the same kind of, you know, crushed in the colors, but we want to hold those highlights and the details and the shadows and things like that. If you're shooting, you know, products for food companies or clothing, anything like that, they're very particular about colors and they don't want things to look weird. So you know, to have your peppers and your vegetables and, you know, your yellows and your blues looking correctly, they'll be much more happier with that rather than you spending forever nightmare trying to tweak it how it's supposed to look. So it just helps you out be quicker. So like I said, that's Rec 709. The colors can be a little bit wacky, whether you're using my luck or, or doing it yourself. And this one just controls it a bit to make it look a bit more natural. And um, yeah, I really like them. So I hope it helps you guys out. Thanks for supporting me and I will check you guys next time.